guys, it's Sarah and I have a layout here. Uh, this is one from Boston and this is one that has my husband and I outside of the theater when we went to see Hamilton and then a picture of the stage as well. So um, I have pulled, as you can see, a whole lot of things. This is going to be brown and yellow with a little bit of gold mixed in and a little bit of red as well. And those are the pictures. So those are what I'm going to be using. And I'm gonna go ahead and just get started. Uh, I know that I'm gonna have brown along the outside, so I'm gonna go ahead and put my photos down in the middle of the cardstock and then cut around with my craft knife and then cut down my photo mats. And then uh, the outside of the cardstock is going to be the outside frame of my layout. And I really like to do this, especially if I have a busy pattern that's going to be my main background, which on this case I do. So it kind of, it helps stop the pattern with your eyes um, or for your eyes, I should say. It will help it. So if I have a pattern paper that runs off the page, off the edges, uh, it just helps to kind of stop it. And this is going to be my main background here, this brown stripe that's gonna be the big one. I had this one pulled as well, but I end up not using that paper at all, the grid paper. I'm just going to use this one here. Um, so that one I'll save for another layout for another time. So this one I'm going to cut down by about a quarter of an inch. And uh, that is going to be um, my main background here. My ATG has been messing up on me, so I had to straighten that out real quick. Uh, and then this is going to go down and as you can see it it the cardstock really cuts off the pattern for you so then I'm going to use this here and I'm just going to use a strip of it um, or actually I, I think I cut that down to half an inch or something like that so um, it's a bigger square but you can still see the background paper and I really like the gold foil that's on that paper there it lends nicely to the pictures, definitely. Now this is a large scrap that I pulled. It's just a yellow, uh, kind of a, a grid almost. Um, so I'm gonna do a large photo mat on that. And then I'm just gonna kind of paper piece my scraps here. And that's just how things are gonna end up being. <laughs> so I'm putting um, down some red and some yellow and then I'll just build on top of those. So it works out nicely. Uh, for my title, I'm going to spell out the words Broadway play, and I'm gonna use these thickers here for Broadway. These are like a puffy thicker almost, and then I you have these letters here for the word play, which uh, are a really pretty gold foil thicker that I think came in a December day kit from what I'm remembering from that font, so. I used that up, <laughs> which is nice. So I'm going to go ahead and get my scraps down. I end up kind of making a color block almost. Um, and then I'm going to just kind of put some things down. And this is where my um, title is going to go. And I do need to use my quick dry adhesive to put everything down so that it stays. Because even the puffy thickers were um, not staying down very well. It was, they were very easily pulled up. So I want to make sure they're not going to go anywhere. And now I'm just gonna decide where I want everything to go. That's gonna be my journaling block, so that fits really nicely right there. That is a Project Life card. And then I cut off the top of that bingo card. It says live, it could also say live. So I'm kind of using it as that because we saw this live. And I'm just trying to see where I'm gonna put all these stickers and things that I pulled. Um, that sticker there says remember this, and it's a transparent sticker. I have a yellow label that I'll stick over here, and uh, I have a little date sticker down here as well that I'll put right next to the title, and that's where I'll put the date of the play. And I'm gonna go ahead and do my journaling. Um, so I'm gonna write the date on there and then do my journaling about the experience of seeing Hamilton live on stage, and it was so incredible. <laughs> uh, that was my 40th birthday gift from my husband and just, oh man, there's nothing like it. I'm telling you. 
It's one of the best experiences I've ever had. So um, it was great. And this little sticker says so much fun. Again, it's transparent, so I have to be very careful about where I put it. And I end up going ahead and putting it up here so you can see the whole thing. It also has a gold label around the words. And then I have that gold bow that I put on top of the uh, journaling and then a gold, not a gold, a yellow flower <laughs> that I put to the right of the photo there. Uh, these are some gold stars. They're like a matte gold. And I'm using these kind of like enamel dots. These are from Not Just For Boys Kit Club. And I'm gonna use uh, two different sizes. So I have like a larger size and a smaller size that all came in that little package. So I'm gonna use uh, two of each in a couple different areas here. And again, I'm using them just like I would use enamel dots. So I'm gonna go ahead and put those down and then I'm gonna call that one good, guys. I don't wanna put too much on there. So I really, really like the way that this turned out. I like all the stars because that's definitely one of the symbols from Hamilton is the star. And um, I think it's beautiful. So I hope you guys enjoyed it too. Please let me know if you have any questions at all and I will see you guys again very soon. Hope you have a great day. Bye.